Okay, hold on, and I'll put some on you, too. Before Amber Holly lets her kids go out and play, they slather on a handful of sunscreen. As a kid, Amber never did, and has had 28 moles removed from her skin, and six found on her back proved to be cancerous. I should have had them taken off before, but I just didn't think nothing of it. I can't see them if they're changing colors because they're on, they were on my back. Which is exactly how so many skin cancer patients get into trouble. Let's take a look at your ear. Doctors say the neck, back, and scalp can be danger zones where cancerous moles often go unnoticed. You should really be looking everywhere. If you have a significant other, have that significant other check you from top to bottom front to back. Dr. Maria Risa Conroy with the Ohio State University Medical Center says if you do find a suspicious mole, keep five letters in mind. A, B, C, D, and D. A stands for asymmetry. What shape does the mole have? The moles that tend to be malignant are irregular in shape. The ones that are benign are rounded. B stands for border. If the mole has a rough edge, get it checked. Color is also important. Moles with more than one color could spell trouble. So could those with a larger diameter. Moles larger than a pencil eraser should be checked. And E stands for evolution. Evolution meaning there's a change in either the shape, the size, the color, um, or sometimes um, symptoms like bleeding. That's what caught Amber's eye. Blood on her shirt made her realize she had moles on her back and that she needed to look for them more aggressively. At Ohio State University Medical Center, this is Clark Powell reporting.